was the only one killed in this crash. The severely injured were rushed to area hospitals for emergency surgery. We have team coverage of the bus crash. Mary Beth McDade live outside the victim's church in Pasadena. But we begin with Brandy Hitt, live at the Arrowhead Regional Medical Center in Colton, where several victims are still recovering tonight. Brandy. Michael, we've learned the man killed in this bus crash is 61-year-old Juan Siok Che of Los Angeles. He was on board the bus that also left three people, three teenagers, critically injured here. A tragic ending to their church retreat. A handful of the teenage survivors were released from the Arrowhead Regional Medical Center hours after their bus rolled down a ravine, killing at least one person. The bus was heading westbound on Highway 189 when it struck a Nissan Murano heading eastbound. The uh, bus careened off 189 uh, after shearing off a power pole, then colliding with several trees. And falling 50 feet. The person killed was on board the Light of Love Mission Church bus, which had just left a retreat at the Pinecrest Christian Conference Center. Everyone else involved, most of them teenagers, were also hurt some critically. A little over an hour, everybody who needed medical attention had the medical attention. They had been triaged and shipped off to the hospital. We've been told that, um, you know, the kids weren't injured so badly, but I mean, come on. Family of 17-year-old Caleb Kim rushed to the hospital to check on his condition. They've tried to calm our fears a bit, but I mean, until we actually see Caleb and, you know, talk to him and make sure that he's okay, I'm not going to take anything for granted at this point. Others suffered severe blunt trauma. Two of the victims went to OR and been stabilized by trauma surgeons. And while doctors tell us they expect everyone else to survive, families want to know why this crash happened. The CHP says weather was not a factor in this crash, but also that it's not known which driver was at fault as well. We do know that there were no seatbelts on board the bus, and also 10 other people are being treated at Loma Linda Hospital. Reporting live in at Arrowhead Regional Medical Center, I'm Brandy Hitt. Micah, back to you in the studio. Brandy, thank you. Now from the hospital to a church vigil for the victims. Mary Beth McDade is live at the Light of Love Mission Church in Pasadena. MB. Well, Mike, at least 10 people were seriously injured in this crash. And so hundreds of church members, they gathered here at their church tonight for an impromptu prayer service to pray for miracles. <laughs> members of Light of Love Mission Church in Pasadena gathered to pray for their fellow parishioners who were involved in a deadly bus crash on an icy road in the San Bernardino Mountains today. Most of us were grieving because um, there's a life lost and he has a family too and we're grieving because um, our kids went to the retreat you know to worship to pray and then they're coming back and this is something that you know devastated our community. Deacon John Cho tells us the bus driver who died in the crash was a member of their Korean church. This was just a voluntary um, you know on Akron's part to drive these kids. Um, and, and he's a professional bus driver, so he knows what he's doing. The 18 middle and high school students and four chaperones were on their way back from a religious retreat in Lake Arrowhead. We're told several of them suffered some serious injuries. We know that one girl just went into surgery. She's in critical condition, and I think she's unresponsive. And so um, they're asking us to just pray for a miracle. They say a boy is also in pretty bad shape. His face has been injured. Um, it's kind of serious, and so they asked us to pray about that. Well, the students continue to be cared for at Inland Empire Hospitals. People back here in Pasadena say they're relying on a higher power to help them heal. All of us know there's nothing to worry about. Like, God is in control. Um, he makes you know, all things work for the good of those who love him, and we love him, so you know, our church is going to be okay. Deacon Joe says that some parents did express some concern about these students trekking to the retreat in such bad weather. However, all of them had to sign permission slips before the students could go. For now, reporting live in Pasadena, Mary Beth McDade. Michael, send it back to you in Hollywood. Mary Beth, thank you, and stay with KTLA and KTLA.com for continuing coverage of this deadly.